Hello everyone. Uh, so this uh, tutorial uh, guideline is mainly for uh, when you need to submit a job in a cluster. Like a lot of times when you're doing um, graduate research or in the industry as well, uh, you have a big job that you need to run in parallel uh, like parallel machines. So universities usually have clusters nowadays. All the universities. So how do you submit a job in a cluster? One way is, uh, well, uh, uploading your case file, fluent case file, which you haven't run in iteration yet. You can initialize and save your case file, or you can just save your case file without initializing. Um, uh, so all the case setups are done, like the models, the materials, um, everything is set up. Uh, so after that how do you run that in a cluster machine uh, so I'll show you my experiences uh, uh, so usually if you want to run in a cluster machine you need to uh, have two files uh, in the university I had that uh, uh, so there was that they have that uh, standard is batch file what this file do is uh, mainly it loads up your case file uh, like a, like a uh, notepad file it, it uploads so that it would run the commands saved over there so same thing you can do you can uh, just log in into your uh, cluster using Linux system and then you can just uh, type these commands directly and then run it uh, but it's a little bit hectic if you want to uh, keep submitting a lot of uh, uh, jobs and uh, other case files so what they do is they have this script ready usually so this was the script i modified a little bit uh, based on my requirements so this is for ansys so you can use other software tools like star system plus or something else as well it's it would be very similar uh, so here i'm uh, so these are some uh, basic standard uh, commands like this one is basically creating an output file this is how many nodes uh, and how many tasks per node uh, you're gonna assign the time uh, request for the job okay uh, what type of uh, job you're submitting is it a batch uh, batch or um, single file so and this is to get a notification uh, when the job is completed and so on and so forth so this one should be by default uh, this one you have to load which software because in the cluster there's a lot of software installed uh, which are usually are not not loaded for individuals because it would be too heavy uh, so you need to load your module so in this case uh, i was using 2020r2 version of ansys so i loaded that and then these are some default commands this would give you uh, some information when you run it and this is the command you need so if you're running a 3d uh, uh, fluent, fluent simulations and it would be 3D DP. Uh, if it's 2, then it's two, it would be 2D DP. Uh, G is, these are some uh, uh, flags I forgot. You can uh, just check in the Google what are these flags means. Uh, I did that quite a while ago, so I forgot. Uh, and this is what you are loading. So with this as batch file, this is going to load the, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to load the ANSYS uh, version I need, and then this is going to load it, uh, load this um, uh, journal file. Uh, you can just type it in any notepad or notepad plus plus, and then just change the extension to .jou which means journal file so this is gonna read that journal file and then run it so this is uh, let's say one example of a transient journal file okay so i'm reading my uh, fluent case which i named it this way okay this was a zip format but again you can just 
do case.h5 format as well. Uh, this is read case data. So I initialized it. So if you have already initialized and saved the case and data file, then you need to run uh, case and data. you can actually do it in one line. I didn't know that at that time. So I did it in two steps. You can just type RCD. So that would read the case and data file uh, saved over there. Okay, and then put the, just the case file name over there. It will automatically read the case and data file together. Okay, you don't have to do it in two steps like I did in here. Uh, and then, uh, so I have already initialized it, so there was no need for initialization. So these are the commands we usually uh, input at the console when we open up the Fluent. If you type this, it would do the exact same thing. You can test it out. You can open up your Fluent case and then just type this in your console. You'll see it will start the iteration. Okay. Uh, so solve in the solve. These are like these are called TUI command. T U I. Okay. Uh, you can Google them. There are a lot of uh, tutorials or examples. Uh, and then exit Fluent. So this is the exit command and yes, exit. Uh, to give you another example, if your uh, uh, if you are using a already installed cluster, uh, let's say you don't have to. Uh, so this is uh, usually the in the university format. What about if you're working in a company or something like that? Uh, usually they have the cluster machine set up and they have their own. Uh, it's the cluster is like a software tool. Usually they have a software to monitor the cluster. So it's not that complicated to submit a job. Uh, it's very simple in those cases. So when you, but again, you need to write the journal file. Okay. So those journal files becomes a lot simpler. It's a similar. Journal files are a lot similar. So this is one example. Uh, very simple. Uh, you're reading the case file again. It's good practice to read the case file instead of case and data, because case files are la very light and takes less memory and space. Okay, uh, let the cluster do the job uh, instead of you doing the job and uploading it in the cluster. So read case file. Let's see. This is the case file format. And then uh, in the solve part, this is initializing, okay? Standard initialization. And let it, let it run for 150 iteration. And then write the case and data file uh, with this name, okay? So you save this case and data file with this name and then exit. So it's that simple. So write the journal file properly and uh, there are some examples i can show maybe this one will help so you guys i think i found it in uh in the internet just typing them uh just try to google them uh so there are a lot of examples but again you can test them out you can just type it in console uh and then test it out like where does it go uh, one thing so like for example let's just solve say discretization let me see if i have any fluent file open check yep i do have one so this is the console okay so what you can do is uh so in the console, if you press enter, so you see all these options. So remember there are like solve iterations. So this is the solve. You can just type S O, like uh, the minimum word, it would automatically take it. So you see, I'm pressing enter and then enter again to see all the folders in this, all the, all, all the options in this solve. So you can go to initialize. So you can just try type again. I don't have to type in it as well. I, I can type I and I, which is good enough because there is no I and I uh, similar to that. So yes, initialization. So under initialization, these are the options. Okay. So this way you can uh, find your own uh, to 
command that you need for your journal file and then write it accordingly like sometimes we want to run uh, some iterations with first order uh, discretization first like for example if we go to methods so what kind of scheme do you want to use and uh, let's say i want to init initially run 200 iterations with first order uh, momentum uh, and pressure uh, so that sometimes uh, helps uh, to do the convergence a little bit faster uh, again it can backfire as well it can diverge as well so we need to be careful but a lot of times i notice that uh, just running the first order with some iteration helps uh, converge the uh, simulation with less number of iteration uh, so you can run maybe 100 iterations with first order and then jump to second order and third order like that for example, this would be a good example. So it's uh, running, initializing and running with uh, first order momentum uh, and uh, momentum equation, 150 iteration, and then running the case for a, a longer iteration. So you can play around with that and then write your own journal file. But again, you need that as batch file if you are usually or sometimes if you don't need that then you can directly upload your journal file and case file and you should automatically get it so in the cluster you have to have your case file that you are reading from the journal and if there is any additional file needed like for example if you are doing a solar load model you need a uh, view vector file that you need to generate uh, uh, so not solar, but I mean a radiative heat transfer model like surface to surface S2S model or DO radiation model. You need to need create a view factor file. So uh, you need that to read the case file properly. So you need to upload those as well, and you need to read it in this journal file uh, from this journal file as well. You need to have a read command. So again, write your journal file properly. Uh, then uh, maybe. Uh, you need this as batch file, uh, but again, if you don't need that, uh, that's great. You can, if you have already have installed software, so every cluster has uh, admin usually set it up differently. So they should have a template. So just modify the template accordingly. But again, what you're doing mainly uh, uh, is basically loading your the module you're going to use. And then is it a 2D or 3D fluent simulation? And then uh, read your uh, journal file. Okay. So this, uh, when you submit in the cluster you know, with this S batch file setup, you will only submit this uh, S batch file, uh, and uh, this journal file you will automatically upload it. Uh, yeah, not automatically. I mean, you need to upload it. Uh, first and then uh, then you just when you submit the submit command is directly just as batch and this file not this journal file okay so it should automatically run in the like it will put you in the queue and then run the process and when it's finished it will give you a notification on everything i hope this helps um, uh, a little bit who are having trouble uh, submitting the job in the cluster Thank you very much.